flour, sugar, peanut butter. Oh. Say hello. Hi. Here's my, uh, this recipe brought down from so many different people, you know, precisely, you don't have to be so precise when it comes to baking. Like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's, it's you know, remember, especially when it comes to favorite, or your cookie just might be kind of shitty. You know, sometimes it might be a little chewier. Sometimes it might be crispier. Sometimes it might be drier. Sometimes it might be peanut butterier. Sometimes it might taste like shit. But you know what, again, the most important thing, measure, measure, measure. Because how are you ever gonna know how much you put in and what you put in if you can't tell somebody how to do it? So how can they recreate your recipe? You know what? I don't know. But measure. I never measure shit. I'm, I, a little With bit cooking. of this. With baking, I feel like I suck. All right, Probably because this. I don't know the measure. I'm being joking, by the way. I know. Oh, okay. I'm joking, people. I have no idea how much to put in of anything. But anyways. It's like that. one stick of butter with a bob that was left over, <laughs> probably. Two big chunks Blobs of peanut of butter. Blobs of peanut butter. Um, Which I guess you could get chunky peanut butter if you wanted to. Yeah. Chunky um, peanut would be good because then you wouldn't have to add a nut factor. Hold on. I have to show you. you what my dog's doing. She's just... Want to add a little egg? This is the glare of my wine glass. And Chloe just doesn't give a shit. She just wants food. Okay, ready? <laughs> She's a little oh. out there. <clears throat> Sorry. So what we're going to do after I get these um, wet ingredients in, I'm going to turn off the camera so Alex can stir it for me, and then I'll come back and put it in dry. So here's a little brown sugar. Uh, you can always just use white sugar. Brown sugar is good to give a little more caramelization. It tends to give it that chewy flavor when it um, when it's out of the oven and it hardens a little bit. So you add a little brown sugar. Doesn't matter if it's light or dark. Light or dark. I mean, if it's darker again, we'll get... Oh, we could probably add some molasses too. We'll do that closer to the holidays. Um, and then we got some white sugar-ish. I'm going to say that's about a cup or two. Okay. Can't go wrong with sugar. It's about a cup for sugar. This is gonna be a big batch of cookies, by the way. Usually, when I just make it on the whim for me and Alex, I do half this ish. Again, I don't fucking know. Anyway, have it a little bit of double, but there you go. Vanilla extract. Cool. Vanilla. Which, by the way, I find a big difference between pure vanilla extract and imitation vanilla. A very agreed. It costs a lot more money, but you only need a, a splash just like that. Well, it's gonna make a big batch of cookies. Yep. Here's the thing, if we weren't ballers on a budget, I'd be peeling a motherfucking cocoa bean, no, a vanilla bean, and dopplin' in there. Oh, that's even better. That's, right. those things are like 20 bucks for one of those little pods of vanilla beans. And because we didn't get our Christmas gift yet. Want me to do that? Nope, I'm fine. You got it, you got it. I'm gonna take a break. Regain some strength. Why don't you use a whisk? Oh wait, I don't have one. We burnt it, remember? It didn't get burnt. It got rusted to hell in the dishwasher. Ready, watch this. I'll get it done this time. You got that. This is like a quick grenade and it's the brightest. Lord God, I'm sweating. You always need to stay hydrated and rest while mixing, Between. chopping, stirring, slicing, frying, baking. Standing. Standing, <laughs> playing cards. <laughs> you know, can you, can you, ready? Wet ingredients. Butter, sugar, brown sugar, eggs, vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla. See how that's creamy-ish? That's a good start. That's good. Wet ingredients, literally baking soda, baking soda, baking soda, baking powder, flour. Let me get a little pinch of salt. That's a little secret, especially too, if you're making anything with the brown sugar. Again, caramel, if you're making a caramel, salt makes it good. Boom. Okay, so this is what I like to do, just so I scoop it-ish. I get the back of this going here. This is how much baking soda you, you know, log this down. Measurements, measurements, about that much. 
Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Baking powder. About that much. Okay? Great. Maybe, you know what? I just feel like that much. Cool? Good. Does that work? That works. Let me focus. What I do? Here we go. Flour. Butter. I should butter, sugar, brown sugar, eggs, vanilla. Do you think that? Now flour, I'm not going to lie. It is roughly about two cups. Two to two and a quarter depending on your batch. I'm going to pretend it's about two just because if you do it too light, your cookies will just spread out and turn really thin, which again, that's good too. Then you just have a thinner, crispier cookie towards the end. But this is roughly uh, a few cups I think I'll do. So I don't even know what this measurement is, but I think this is a quarter cup. So three, four. Uh, Usually once you make stuff a few times too, you know what to look for and you can just sort of like feel the dough. Like when I make some pizza dough here? or something. Or not this time. Sure. Oats add like a little nutty flavor. So I think I no raisins though. No raisins. We just had raisins. Right. So oats sometimes you substitute for flour which they'll puff up and get that as well. So we'll say we'll do the other ish. Like that. So. Now you'll see, here's the fun part. This I can't stir like a mother effer. So I'm not really sure how big this batch is. So once you stir it in, you'll see. Again, if the batter like moves a lot once it's all stirred in, it's just gonna be a thinner cookie because it'll spread out more once you bake it. So it shouldn't be like pancake mix. Should not, it should be stiff. It should be stiff. This should. It should be stiff and dry. It should be way stiffer than a cake batter. <laughs> Stop it. No, I don't want stiff and dry. I want stiff and moist. Anyway, stop it. When do okay. You find a moist penis. Stop it. There's stiff. fucking people on that are watching this. Can you get out of your get out of the gutter, please? Well, it's true. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I want it loose and moist. All right. Like so let women. me this is <laughs> That's not that does not mean me. <laughs> Prior women. Fuck, Alex. Okay, ready? Watch this. This is perfect. See this? See how it's still moving a little? This is too thin. And it would be, yes, but this is the thing. It would be fine, but picture this. It's all butter and peanut butter base. When you bake it, it's just gonna melt down to be really thin. You want a little more girth in your, you want a little more girth in your life, a little more thickness. So I'm gonna <laughs> say, we'll do this. And this looks good. Try that. Try it out. Stir it up and then go from there. Wait, what am I? Oh, we still need the chocolate chippies. God, this is the most long, boring video. We should just let them go. Well, here we go. This looks good to me now. You can always edit stuff out. Yep, exactly. Nice all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is looking pretty decent to me now. See? A little stiffer, right? But again, after the yeah. first batch, we'll know. Here, how many chocolate chips do you want? I wow. think I'll do the whole thing. Can't go wrong with chocolate chips. Whoa. Oh. Jerry Deli. My hands are full. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. This is the best. By the way, mm. semi sweet is the best you want for baking. Oh, mm. Jerry Deli. Mm -hmm. There really is a big difference between different chocolates. Oopsies. <laughs> Store brands, they're okay. They still taste they're fine. Good. Jerry Deli, though. But I would say between Jerry Deli, Nestle Toll House, I'd so say those are probably like the top two oh, chocolate yeah. chip brands that... Nothing like it. You know we why? We eat a chocolate bar almost every night and we can definitely tell the difference between mm -hmm. the Walmart brands. Oh fuck, I need a break. like Dove. Yeah. These and there's good. a huge difference between chocolates, you know. Again, this, these semi-sweet as opposed to milk chocolate goes good with peanut butter or something. Creamier, caramelly, you get that sweet, the salty, a little bit of both, you know. Ugh. <laughs> I think for the holidays, I'm gonna get you a bottle of Goose to make some good martinis. The martinis? Fuck ballers on a budget. He's gonna get me Goose. That's just to make we me feel better. We're not ballers, but we're kind of not that much on a tight budget. 
honey. We have a couple. We just made martinis out of a fucking <laughs> meathead. That's because we don't have martini glasses. Not that. Spedka. It's not because we couldn't and a afford it. Cucumber. Okay. Is it rotten? It was a little overripe, but it's okay. Ready? Well, First try this and just, it, we won't talk about it. Just try this quick. Cookie dough. To those of you who say, don't consume raw dough because there's raw eggs in it. Mm. Go fuck yourself. Take don't it. follow my channel then. Mm. Like it? Is it good raw? It's good raw, it's good fake. Very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say more peanut butter than anything. Motherfucker just said more peanut butter. That is the first step. Mm, I got an idea. What? We can't add the peanut butter now. It's too late. Okay. Have to go first. But we could make the Mikey Nuki Mikey Wave. A little bit of peanut butter right when they come out of the oven and drizzle it on top quick. Perf. Then let them set. Perf. Done. Boom. We'll come back to you. We're going to bake these now. Uh, roughly between 12 and 14 minutes. Or until you open the oven and say that looks good. Okay, thanks. Bye. We're going to preheat the oven. It's not oh, even on yet. Shit, mother fuck. You and fucking horse cock. Cookies, that's one more thing. Sorry. I will show you more or less a good dollop size on a baking sheet real quick. And then I'll show you the finished product when they're done. Spread your legs, honey. So I know you're used ready. to that. Can you spread your legs, please? Thank Hold you. Up. Up. You're good. Okay. Okay. Ready? So, what temp? 325? 375. Three Always for cookies and most baking is 375. That I do know. Okay. Okay? See, I'm learning as I go along, too. Well, he's a, he's a fantastic cook. He's just really shitty when it comes to baking. I'm good at okay. making puddings and stuff, because those are stovetop things. I bet things. you're good at making pudding. I'm good at making pudding. All different kinds, okay, baby. Okay. But no matter how good they come out, I still like your vanilla pudding. Oh my god, honey. Stop it. People are watching this. Get your fucking head out of the we're no more beverages. Can you focus? Here we go. Ready? About a blop is about the size you want. It's a blop. You want blop size? Big heaping spoonful. It's a blop size. About, I mean, again, preference. You can make little ones. You can make big ones. I don't really care. I like blop size because I like to eat one cookie. People like medium to large cookies. Who the fuck wants a small cookie? True story. What are you What's that fucking smell? Is something burning? Three years old Shit. where your fingers can't hold a big cookie. Oh my god, Alex, you're getting aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. We're both slightly sick, so don't indulge in this stuff after we do it. Ready? Here we go. Pop them in the oven. And again. It's not even heated yet. Shit, motherfucker. Anyways, so we'll talk for a minute, shall we? You can slowly watch your cookies. Do not open the thing. Put your oven light on. Watch your cookies. They will slowly go down. If you see them spreading a real, real lot. Sorry, my nose is right. That means there's <laughs> not enough flour. Add a little more flour if you'd like. If not, a thin cookie's good. Once you slap it on the cooling rack to cool, it ends up just getting chewier at the end, and it's actually quite delightful. Don't panic, everybody. Stop panicking and getting so serious about what your cookie should look like. This reminds me of a story. Oh, here we fucking go. Of a time where I preheated an oven, and I was slowly going down and the cookies spread open and it took about 15 minutes till everything was ready to go. And that's it. Does that sound familiar? No, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You just sound real pervy when you're describing. Are you just trying to be pervy right food. now? I'm talking about fucking goddamn bake goods here, people. Look at this guy. Stop it. Appropriate. We can't That's have it. a channel love, and we're going to be cookies swearing and, and shit. Cookie. Uh -huh. All right. We'll check in with you when we pop them in. And let you know what to look for so you know when they're ready. This has been the longest cookie batch ever. 14 minutes and 10 seconds. Usually it takes me six minutes. Okay, thanks. Bye. Whatever. Bye. Okay, real quick thing before we check these cookies. I forgot to say... When you're making, I made peanut butter cookie, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So pretty basic. If you're making a half batch, it's one stick of butter. If you're making a full batch, about 
two dozen, two sticks of butter. If you're making it with peanut butter, you do one stick of butter and pretend that other stick of butter is your peanut butter, being that peanut butter is a butter as well. Serves the purpose as butter. So just quick tip, peanut butter takes up for the other stick of butter. Okay, it's been about nine minutes. Gonna see if we have fluffy cookies, crispy cookies, spread out cookies. Didn't even check them. I'm not going to, I'm saying this is what we're gonna spread. Didn't even turn the oven light on to look. Just oh. let them go. Wherever it comes out, comes out. Yes, but I'm gonna say I'm taking out about two minutes, but I just wanna show you. See this, god fucking damn it dog. These are looking like they're gonna stay a little more intact. But I'm gonna say they need another two minutes. You can still see a little bit of rawness inside, but they're gonna be Poking intact again. cookies. Still a little raw oh, yeah. in there. So that's about two more minutes. That was but, definitely way more time. Yep, but there are gonna be cookies that looks like to be stiffer, fluffier cookies. And that's Can't cool. wait. Great, thank you, bye. Peace. Okay, so I took the first batch out. Boom. I have a little peanut butter in the mic. It literally needs like <laughs> quick, quick. 30 seconds. Oh, perfect. All right, all right, all right. For a good two blobs that were in there. Doesn't take long to heat up. Okay. And this is just what for was your Alex. tip? Oh, my tip was see how the cookies stayed pretty much in the shape that I put them on the tray? They didn't blob out, so they're not thin cookies. I can put more on the tray now because they're not going to take up much space. So, oh, that's okay. So therefore, I can put these really close together and get more cookies on a tray at one time because they're not going to take up, take up each other's space. Clear? We all understand that? Cool, great. Bet you don't, but that's okay. See, look. I'm gonna can get I this glaze whole motherfucking fuck yeah. I'm gonna get this whole batch on here though, real quick, and pop these in, and then you can do the honors. This is a smaller cookie. But that's okay. That'll be the tester. That'll be our tester. If All right. I can wait that long. Hot tamale. Mm. We're gonna use this still. Boom. And then these ones should be done in about two minutes. So maybe we'll just wait to glaze till. Those come out, so give us two seconds. Okay. Mm. Cool. Cool. So we're okay. taking these off the mother F4. It's okay, see? We just gotta you just gotta slap them back together like that while they're hot, and they'll come right back to life. You do this, and then you just smush them right back together. Boom. So being that we're glazing them, I shall take a little spatula, boop, 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 to the top, boop, boop, so they're flat. And then, which Alex did all the other ones beautifully, are you recording this? No. Yeah. Just a little, little smelted peanut butter, just a little smelted. It's a smelting accident. Don't be stingy, girl. Oh, you shit. You don't need my peanut butter. Oh, shit. Okay, smelting, smelting. And this just gives a, see how those ones are kind of congealing up and they're getting now, once it's um, cooling, like this is very liquidy right now. Yes, yes it is, and that's okay. But, it'll get hard. They'll, mm, okay. So, Let's give it time. It will, okay, <laughs> there it is again. So this is gonna be our tester, but anyways, so we'll take a little quick smoke break, come back, and these will be perfectly peanut buttered. Which this is just, you don't have to do this. This is just a lot of definite extra peanut butter. Probably unnecessary. And if you really love peanut butter. But Alex like me, is obsessed with peanut butter. So there you go. Boom. Done. How many did that make? Count real quick. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 22, or 21 and a half. So anywhere between 20 and 24. Close to two almost two dozen. dozen. But again, depending on the size of your How cookie. Boom. I just touched this. Why would you fucking do that? Get to. away from the fucking hot pan. Let me get a cocktail. Okay, bye.